Hey, Daniel. Um, I'm Arnold Diaz from PIX11. I'm here about this truck that you towed about a year ago, and you're holding on to it and asking for $3,000. D&M Towing in the Bronx is refusing to release this 2007 GMC pickup stolen a year ago from the Yonkers home of Jay Daniels. I would just want my vehicle back. I mean, we didn't make no mistakes. Somebody, somebody obviously dropped the ball. The thief left the stolen truck here, illegally parked in front of a firehouse in Upper Manhattan. Because the truck was blocking the fire lane, a firefighter called nearby DNM towing. The law requires towers to notify the local police precinct within two hours of a tow. But you didn't tell the police that you were towing it. No, everything over here, everything is in there. But but the police say they never got no, a notice. Oh no, he got everything. Owner Daniel Orozco says his driver gave this towing receipt to an officer at the 30th precinct. But the NYPD says we have no record of this vehicle being towed then. If they had been notified, they would have discovered it was stolen. Instead, it was towed to DM's garage on Edgewater Road, allegedly unbeknownst to the police, and Daniels was not informed. It was from April to October. I never received a letter or a phone call right, or anything. Started. The business was closed due to the pandemic, says the owner's wife. My husband was infected with the virus for more than three months. The police say it was in October, six months after the tow, when DNM first contacted them about the truck, and Daniels got what should have been good news. The New York City Police Department has recovered the car. But when he tried to claim his truck... They tell me I owe $3,000 in storage fees, and my jaw hit the ground. I did nothing wrong, so, you know, I just can't see him having to pay. Three months later, the bill increased to more than $9,000 for 267 days of storage, including the entire time the business was closed. And the $35 daily storage rate is well above Consumer Affairs' $27 maximum. But a Consumer Affairs investigation concluded its rates don't apply here because this tow was in the fire lane across from a firehouse. It passed the buck to the Department of Transportation, which says its rules don't apply to private tow companies. And so Jay Daniels, who did nothing wrong, who had his truck stolen, is unable to get it back because city agencies seem unable or unwilling to help him. So what happens now? DNM Towing told a consumer affairs mediator it would release the truck for $4,000. No way I had that kind of money. Daniels, an HVAC repairman for New Rochelle Schools, had to take out a loan to buy another truck for work, while his $9,000 pickup remains in DNM Towing's garage. Why can this guy get his truck back? The tower's threatening to sell the truck at auction. Can it do that when Daniels never gave permission for the tow? We'll keep investigating. I'm Arnold Diaz, Pix 11 News.